On Chinese New Year Eve, a hamster was brought into Topayo Vets with two black swellings on her right ear and a big swollen nose filled with pus which is an abscess. It was severely dehydrated. There is also a high anaesthetic risk involved in the operation to remove the ear warts and to drain the pus out from the nose. This is a Be Kind to Pets video to bring veterinary medicine and surgery alive for vet students and pet owners. As the ear wart grew bigger, frequent scratching has led to gangrene of the ear. Under isoflurane gas anesthesia, the gangrenous right ear tumors and ear are clamped and excised. The gangrenous right ear has been clamped and the ear had been cut off. The right ear wound will start to bleed soon. The bottom of the image shows the right ear with gangrenous tumours. Due to the scratching of the ear warts, the hamster has also scratched his nose leading to a bacterial infection. As a result, an abscess is formed at the nose. The image shows the gangrenous right ear tumour excised and nose abscess lensed under isoflurane anesthesia. The gangrenous right ear is excised and nose pass has been drained off. The ear wound bleeds. Stitching 6 zero sutures to close the ear wound and nose wound will be done soon. There is profuse bleeding. Prognosis is very poor as hamster is very weak and is severely dehydrated. A day after operation on the first day of Chinese New Year, the hamster is eating as two pellets can be seen. Cleaning up of the wound is also done. On the second day after operation, which is also the second day of Chinese New Year, the hamster looks more active. Two pellets were seen and the hamster is also drinking, which indicates a good sign of recovery. The wound is cleaned and the hamster is given medication. On the third day after the operation, the hamster is more active and also easily tired due to surgery and pain. The owner takes the hamster home for nursing. Tips and advices. Do not delay removal of ear warts or tumours in dwarf hamsters. Seek early treatment when there are warts or growths as they will cause pain and irritation to hamsters. As a result, they will not be eating and drinking and may die due to infection or stress. Here are images of the hamster before and after surgery.